Hey ladies and gents, this is Linda Page 777 and today I'm coming at you with the Design Team Project for Renee Bouquets. Now this particular project, I actually started kind of making it for myself because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. It was just kind of a thought I had in my head. But then when I was done, it kind of turned out um, to work for a project that I had been commissioned for but I'm kind of back and forth on it. It's kind of got the right color scheme to it. So um, a gal at my church, her sister commissioned me to make something as a Christmas present for her daughter. And they said it can be very inspirational. It can have Bible verse on it if I want, etc., etc. And this project that I came up with while it doesn't have a Bible verse on it, I think it's very inspirational and kind of is very fitting. But I'll see. I may end up making something else later. Let's see what you guys think. I'm going to move my sign out of the way and show you what I came up with. I'm going to adjust my camera up and then I'll move this piece of cardstock here. I hope it's not too dark in here because I have the overhead lighting off so it doesn't shine on the, on the acrylic. So this is what I came up with. I really love it. Um, I What I may do is take it and show my friend and see what she thinks. And if she's like, well, I was kind of picturing something else, then I'll make something else and keep this for myself. Anyway, I do love how this came out. And uh, what I started with is the outside frame. I'll just give you an overview. This outside frame here was actually, it's 12 by 12. Um, and it's actually an insert that came out of one of those 3D frames, you know, that you could put like a page layout in. Um, and I had taken it out and I'd thrown it in the trash. And then I kept thinking, I don't, no, I don't want to throw that away. And I got it back out and I'm like, well, what, what am I going to use it for? And I threw it back in the trash two or three times back and forth. I'm like, I'm just going to keep it. So I did. And I, because I knew I was thinking I could use it like as a frame, obviously. And then when I was cleaning out my room, I came across a package that my friend P had sent me um, from Hobby Lobby. And it was a 12 by 12 piece of this chicken wire. And I thought, okay, if I staple that to the back of that one piece, then I've kind of got a see-through type of frame. And it kind of looks, you know... Not really grungy, but you know what I'm saying. It'll look really mixed media, but I could still make it look really pretty and shabby chic. So that's what I did. So I painted the frame. I did um, chalk paint with the pouncy brush, and I pounced up and down to get the texture. Then I painted the chicken wire with the same chalk paint, and then I stapled it to the back of the frame. And then I finished it off. I will show you with some little strips of chipboard that I cut to fit the back of that and you can see how thin that frame is so they were like thin pieces of chipboard and then I painted those in the chalk paint as well because I don't really like my raw edges to show so um, that's how kind of the quote unquote frame came about and then I kind of built it up from there with you know beautiful product from Renee's shop so let me adjust a few things here bring my camera up and everything so that I could bring this up more close to the camera to show you Okay, so, all right, up with my camera. I have to go quite a ways up, and I'm probably going to hit my lighting and stuff with that. With this. It might be odd angles trying to show you this. But I like to hold it so I can point things out versus just um, zooming in. Okay, I'm going to go down a little bit more and then bring this up, and we'll get a closer look at everything. Here we go, so... There's the frame, very thin, and I'll bring it up so you can see the texture I did with the chalk paint. Okay, and I'm going to flip it over really quick. Stapled on the back, the chicken wire, and then little thin strips of chipboard, and then I painted over those and textured as well just to hide those raw edges. And then on the back of that, I used a piece of black chipboard on the very back of the chicken wire so that I could glue to it because I didn't want um, the glue from my larger piece of paper to be like showing through the chicken wire. That looks stupid. So, and plus this gives me a place if I do end up giving this um, to the person I mentioned, it gives me a place to, you know, put my tag and stuff. 
okay? You know, made by, etc. So that is the back. So let's bring it up to the front and then we'll just kind of go down and show you everything. I know it just feels like it's so dark. I had to turn my overhead light off because it was shining on my transparency. So you can see my lamp over there shining on it. Okay, so let's start. There's a lot of stuff going on, I know. So let's start with just the very back piece. This uh, paper is from Stationer's Desk. And what I did is I wanted, I didn't just want to lay a piece of paper down and then glue to it. I wanted to, I knew I wanted to do stenciling on top of a piece of acrylic. And I've got uh, six by six sheets of acrylic that I bought from Joann's and it's graphics acrylic and um, so I knew I wanted to do a stencil on top of that but I you know you have to be able to see the stencil because it, it wasn't very visible you know just laying up against the chicken wire so I sewed a piece of um, the stationer's desk paper to it and I also knew I wanted to do a little spraying on the acrylic and I wanted it to just be kind of a haze effect and I because I wanted it soft in the background so uh, that's why I chose to do it that way and then I like I said I stenciled on the chance or the acrylic and this is a Prima stencil from my stash and then while the and I use Prima uh, light paste for the stencil, the texture on it, and then while it was still wet, I sprinkled um, Martha Stewart the really fine, fine glitter on it, so that it would be really powdery. Um, and it's going to be kind of hard to see the glitter, I know, but it's a real soft, powdery effect on top of that. Okay, and then I used Lindy Stamp Gang some. Um, flat Fabio, just a sidewalk chalk, I think it's called, and I spritzed on the transparency kind of from this corner down to this corner and just giving it that little hazy effect, okay? Um, and then I layered, you can see it down here, this beautiful piece of chipboard. It comes in a large piece. You like my dimensions? Because <laughs> I can't remember how large it is. I cut it kind of on the diagonal so that I could use part of it down here and then the other part up here and it's this beautiful Blue Fern Studios chipboard. I've got to get some more of this. It's called the Persian Ornament. So pretty. And all I did was um, embossing white embossed powder on top and heat set it. Okay, so I layered that. Then over the top of that, I layered this beautiful piece of, and that Blue Fern Studios Persian ornament chipboard comes from Renee's shop. And then over the top of that, I layered a beautiful piece of lace, also from Renee's shop. And this lace is called Sheer Romance. It comes in white, really pretty. Okay, layered that over it. And then of course, you guys know me, I start my layering on the top. Okay. Um, so let's see. Real quick, I'll just mention it because you can see it. This is just a Prima resin bird from my stash. Okay. And then I laid down a beautiful metal ornate frame. This is a Rene Bouquet's metal frame. It comes in like a bronze color, goldy bronze, golden bronze. That's two colors. One of those two colors. Um, and I just painted it with uh, chalk paint and heat set it. So I turned it white, and you barely just get a glimmer in here, and I'm sorry I don't have any more to show you, but you get a set of two of them, and they're about two, three inches tall. Really pretty, really pretty. I love them. I love the layer on top of them. Um, and then this word from my stash, Woodward Noted, and I just painted that white. And then I pulled out these beautiful wings, these beautiful resin wings, 
and I painted them with the chalk paint. I kind of pounced up and down a couple of times with the uh, chalk paint to kind of give it some texture. And then you can kind of see it has a little bit of a, almost a powdery look to it, a little bit sparkly. What I did, what I did is I used um, Prima Snowflake Texture Paste on top of that to give it kind of a sparkly, real pretty textury effect. Now these resin wings are from Prima. It's the Sandra Evertson. It's the Relics and Artifacts line. Renee has a lot of these um, sets in her shop, and this comes from the Chivalry set. There's kind of two different style of wings, and uh, I chose this style of wings here. Okay, and then I just started kind of layering the flowers down the center. This beautiful ivory chiffon flower came from Renee's shop. Beautiful, the bling and the pearls in the center of it. I love those, my favorite. Um, and then I've got a bunch of like recollections flowers, these kind of really light, light green and these beautiful brown flowers. Some wild record craft flowers, little carnations. They're kind of a corally look. Um, this is a Rolled Rose Prima from probably Debutante Collection. These beautiful flowers, they almost look coral to me. And that's kind of what I was going for when I made this. I love that coral look. But these come from Renee, Renee's shop. And these are the set of 13 mulberry flowers. And these are actually called Dusty Rose. But they, like I said, they, they kind of have a coral tint to me, and that's what I love about them. But there's a set of 13 of different uh, types of flowers in that same color scheme. She has all different sets of mulberry roses, and they come in different colors. And there's different flowers and leaves in the set, and they come in this beautiful, like, chiffon bag, fabric bag. Really beautiful presentation. Uh, and it's worth the money very very low cost and you just get an assortment of flowers it's really pretty um and then i've got some of these flowers down here if you can see them they're a little bit and they've got some bling on them a little bit right here i know going to be hard to see these are heaven sent for there you can see that one kind of good these are little heaven sent flowers by prima the heaven sent collection and these are called stella and these came from renee's shop she has the heaven sent collection she's got the new collection in of the uh, rosy bell she's got the new coming in for christmas of the Sweet Peppermint Collection. Need to go take a look. She's adding new uh, products daily. Um, these flowers here I love. Renee carries in her shop. And these are her fabric flowers. Um, they come in a set of six. And these are in the winter white. She's just out of stock of these right now. When I went to go uh, put my blog post up. But she does have some other colors in there. She's got like the camellia pink in there. Um, and I love them because they remind me of those Prima flowers that we all love. Okay. Um, and then mixed in there, I've got some thread. This is a really thick upholstery thread. Bought at Walmart. Just mixed, you know, wound it up and kind of pushed it in there to give a little texture. I've got a metal, red, metal heart gear here by Prima. And then I've got another little gear down here. Uh, I've got a Prima metal clock hand here. Renee has just a couple sets of these left in her shop, and you know these are hard to get. So if you don't get them, I'm going to get them for you. So make your way to it to get these Prima clock hands. Love them. This is a uh, resin uh, window by Prima. I painted it white and put it in there. Um, this is just some... Um, how do I want to say it? It's like fabric coated wire and it's from my stash. I just got it at like um, one of the craft stores. I think Joann's or Michael's, something like that. It, it's kind of like remind me of the Prima uh, coated wire that they came out with. So put that in there for some texture. And then on top, I kind of laid some wood words from my stash that says love. And this says Faith, and I, I left this kind of in the wood, but I painted it with some watercolors and kind of the greens and the corals to kind of match the project. This one says Joy. It's kind of a, a grayish black to kind of ma match the background paper. Okay. Over here, I've got another Prima metal clock hand, so it kind of has, you know, a framed effect of the top portion. I've got a 
uh, Prima frame here, resin frame. Down here, a beouticful butterfly from a neighbor K's shop. This is Tiny Treasures, and this is called the Sweet Nothings. It's kind of a peachy, corally butterfly, really pretty. Now, whenever you go to order her butterflies, um, you get choice of antenna color, like five colors, I think. So that's kind of nice. So, what you know, you can really make it specific to projects you want to use these for. And then around on the wire, I've got some little hearts. These are little Prima wood hearts. They came from the Salvage District collection, the wood icons. That's just from my stash. Got another one right over here. And then tucked in behind some of the paper, these are just uh, Prima floral trim here. I've got one piece here. I've got another up here. Another one kind of tucked down in here. Okay, so I'm kind of looking. There's one more thing I did. So then the last thing I do to kind of tie it all off is you can see a lot of sparkle. Let me move that. You can see sparkle there. Sparkle on the wings. You can see a lot of sparkle over here on the flowers, on the sparkle on the bird wings. A lot of sparkle over here on the flowers and on the larger wings. You know it. It's Renee Bouquet's Glitter Glass, and this is in the color sand. It's just got that real beautiful, dusty, shabby pink color almost, and it's just really pretty. And I just use Prima 3D Matte Gel, and then I pour the uh, glitter glass on top, and you can just, as I turn, you can just kind of see all the glitter coming off. Just gives it a real soft, romantic touch, I think. Okay, so let me put this back again at the back. Oh, I saw one more thing. I'll point it out to you. I forgot. Right here up in the corner, right there is a little Prima resin uh, corner piece. Let me, I'll zoom in and show you. And I just glued that to the top of the frame right there. And then I added some Renee Bouquet's glitter glass on top of that. Okay, so there is my project. I think it turned out really, really pretty. I, I really like how it turned out. I love the soft effect of kind of having the chicken wire in the back, but painting it white just kind of softened it up. Small frame. Everything's kind of located in the center. All the beautiful Renee Bouquet's products. I just love it. And it's very inspirational, I think. I mean, what's not inspirational about live beautifully, dream passionately, always and forever, love, faith, joy. And it's noted. <laughs> I noted it. Anyway, I will have all the links down below to everything Renee Bouquet's as well as the link to my blog and Pinterest for close-up photos. I thank you for sharing your time with me, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye!